Hey there guys, today we're taking a look at the Division 2 running on the AMD Ryzen 5 5500U and the 5600U. So we're pretty much doing a comparison here. Currently the game is running at 1080p, but with the low in-game graphics settings, which actually sets the target resolution to 75%. Originally I was also going to test with 720p, but the 5500U is having this weird issue with 720p in this game, where the 1% lows would just be ungodly terrible compared to where they were at 1080p, so I'm not 100% sure what's going on there but at the settings that we're currently running here with the stock 15 watt tdp the level of performance is practically identical it is functionally identical really the one percent lows are pretty much the same there will be a one to two fps difference and it's exactly the same with the averages so realistically while you're playing the game you're not really going to be able to tell much of a difference here and neither is going to be an amazing experience like this there are certainly people out there that can play the game like this you know i mean and this is a seventh generation console experience right here though with admittedly a higher resolution but really at this setting it's just not that doable but if we mess around with the tdps we could see what other things we can actually get out of this so we'll start off with using the battery saver preset on the apu tuning utility version 3.0 now here you could see that the 5600u is definitely demonstrating the efficiency gains that zen 3 ended up having where we're actually getting a 30 fps average here though the one percent lows are low enough that realistically it's not going to be a very playable experience here but the averages that we are getting are surprisingly doable compared to what we're getting with the 5500u here the 5500u is pretty much giving us a slideshow while the 5600u is demonstrating an fps that ubisoft would consider to be very playable which is a really impressive thing to see and it really just shows that zen 3 was a huge efficiency monster and it really has me so interested to test out a 6000 series apu like specifically i want to get my hands on the 6600u and i want to test the efficiency gains here because this is kind of impressive levels of performance here i mean i don't expect anybody to realistically try to play like this but i mean it's not completely out of the question and that's the most impressive thing about the 5600u here compared to the 5500u but let's move on to TDPs that people would actually end up using. So with the balance preset that seems to set a target TDP of anywhere between 22 to 25 watts, I'm still not 100% sure what it is because the tuning utility just still does not label the actual TDP that it goes with here, but both seem to just level around that 22 to 23 watt range with peaks up to around 25 and the level of performance that we're getting here is again very comparable it's not going to be swinging wildly from one to the other they're both able to give a very playable experience here where the one percent lows are going to be around that 30 fps range and averages being in the 40s so it's going to be a playable enough experience though it's not going to be anything remarkable it is at least going to be comparable between the two so it's not one of those situations where you're getting any major gains by going with the newer chip or anything like that the average differences between the two are just a couple of frames and realistically speaking it's going to vary between run you know like it's one of those things where the level of performance that we're getting here you're not really going to be able to tell much of a difference at all if i put this in front of you you're not really going to tell too much of a difference so if you look at those frame time charts you will see that the 5600u does keep it a little bit more level it has a little bit less spikes here and there and i think that's really what contributes to the improved one percent lows slightly and last but not least, we have the performance preset here, which is uh, not necessarily too fair of a comparison at this point because we are comparing two different chassis. One is a 15 inch laptop. The other one is a 13 inch. So the 5600U and the Aero 13 is really struggling to actually keep this chip cool. And you'll notice that it's actually lowering its power usage compared to the 5500U. And overall, what that ended up leading to is that the 5500U is actually giving better overall performance throughout the test and you'll see that by the end of it it does have higher averages and the one percent lows are going to be comparable enough that it's going to be overall meaningless and what this really shows is that just picking a chip is not enough to really determine what the level of performance you're going to get is going to be like you know cooling and stuff like that and the amount of power that you're going to be trying to trying to run through a system is really going to be a major factor as well that can vary between systems what this really shows is that there is not huge gains to be made with the 
5600U compared to the 5500U in these AAA types of titles. Of course, neither of these systems are running at TDPs that I would comfortably run them at anyway. This is really just for testing purposes, but you can see here that there is at least a noticeable margin between the 5500U and the 5600U at this TDP. But overall, what I would really just recommend is that you just play the game at 900p on both systems with the lowest settings and of course the render resolution target of 75 percent it's going to give you the overall best experience without making the game look absolutely awful because going down to 720p can be pretty brutal especially on the 15 inch display on the 5500u here and what really was demonstrated in this video more than anything else is the fact that the 5600u is really just an efficiency king and it was really more of a refinement of the 5500u more than anything else because we're getting pretty much similar levels of performance because the game itself is not very cpu limited it's just gpu limited and we're running on the exact same gpu it's pretty much just functionally the same there's not much of a difference at all as you can see by the level of performance that we would get throughout all of these presets but anyways i hope you found this video useful if you did be sure to subscribe and i will see you in the next one